Orange Boy, Chapter One. Man, I couldn't stop looking at her. When I closed my eyes, I still saw her. Her hair was thick and blonde, and a curl looped over her ear to her shoulder. She wore black mascara and green eyeliner, and her lips looked shiny and sticky. Sonia Wilson was right there next to me, and it made my brain buzz. The fairground was doing its thing around us. Every family in Hackney was out today. Every eight-year-old in the world came along to squeal at each other. The queue for the Dodgems stretched out past the barriers and onto the grass. Legs dangled from the top of the Tower of Power, and it shot halfway down to Australia and back up again. The octopus was singing screamers towards us and away. All that noise was fighting with the music, and the music was fighting with itself. It was the usual crappy mashup: the Beatles mixed with Frank Sinatra, mixed with Michael Jackson. But underneath was a bass beat, thump, 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 like my heart. What if I reached over and touched Sonia's chest to see if her heart was pumping too? Damn, she slapped me from Hawaii to Hackney. I laughed. She looked around. What's so funny? Nothing really. She smiled. Yeah, it gets you that way. She finished paying for the hot dogs and offered me one. She squirted mustard and ketchup, an S on mine and two straight lines on hers. I should have told her I hated mustard, but it was an S for Sonia, like she was giving herself to me. My brain cells were glowing, all lit up with bubbles of serotonin. That's what ecstasy does to you. It tickles your brain's insides. I grinned at the hot dog seller, a steward, anybody. Sonia said, try it. I took a bite of hot dog and the claggy bread stuck to the roof of my mouth. You like? Hmm. I forced myself to swallow. A big lump of mustard dropped to the bottom of my stomach. Bread and pink sausage churning up together. My gut jumped, ready to seal itself shut. Sonia was looking at me, so I took another bite and she nodded her approval. My brain circuits were flashing like switchback lights. Better stuff in it now, she said. When the pill kicks in proper, you won't want nothing to eat. Except, maybe me. I felt myself blush. She couldn't have meant that. Those South London girls use words differently. She grabbed my hand and I was grinning again. I must, like, I must look like Pac-Man. I wrapped my fingers around hers, not too tight, or she'd feel them too sweaty. That must be the drugs again. We stood side by side looking across the fair. Could she see it too? The world, a bit too gold and glittery. I said, I think it's working. She shrugged. You only had a quarter mile on, but it's your first time, and the first time's always the best. Ha! Ah. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut. I could have been like Yasir or the other wide mouths, if everything they said was true. I poked my tongue across the roof of my mouth. Should I have another drink? She rolled her eyes. You're all right. A quarter's just dust. It looked like I was heading across sad case country, so I took a deep, silent breath and put my arm around her shoulders. Not too much pressure, keeping it light. She didn't move away. Her arm stayed by my side. You're right, I said. This is better than revision. Yeah, my mum will go mental. Sonia pulled her lips down to a sad face. You gonna tell her? Of course not. So what's the problem? Nothing. Look, it was a pick and mix store. I still had a 20 in my pocket. Fancy some? No, let's go around before it gets really mad. You don't want too many people about if the pill sends you loony. I blinked. The world had gone dull again. Doesn't do that, does it? She gave a sigh. I was joking. I'm all right. Yes, she was more than all right. I said, do you, what do you fancy doing afterwards? Dunno. We haven't finished here yet. She sounded flat. I had to stop being so paranoid. Girls like Sonia picked on things like that. I smiled and said, cool, it's up to you. But she must have heard something in my voice. She wriggled out from under my arm and moved round so she was facing me. Sonia's face was different from this angle, and when she smiled, her cheeks were big and round like a young kid. She held my hand between hers and squeezed my fingers. Now, I heard, was one giant light bulb. You could probably see it from the moon. 20 trillion miles away. Her little finger moved up to my mouth and stroked the side. 20 trillion miles away, a lens shattered from the heat. Ketchup, she said. Seriously not cool.